Okay. Now, electret microphones, these simple condenser microphones like I have here, are in many devices today. They're readily used and they're fairly cheap. You can buy them for under a dollar. And you may be wondering, how can I hook this up and build my own microphone out of this? Now, I have an audio cable here with, with the end cut off and stripped. So, theoretically speaking, if I hook the ground and the signal wires to the ground and, pause and the red wire on here, it should work, right? Wrong. This needs to be powered from about 3 volts, roughly. It shouldn't matter a whole lot, but 3 volts seems to be the commonly used voltage for these. So, you need a way to power them. The easiest way to do that is with a 9 volt battery. You will also, if you wa want to uh, build this project, you will also need a 2.2K resistor. This is signified by red, red, red. You're not going to be able to see that. But it's a resistor with three red stripes on it. You could also test it with a multimeter if you are unsure. So, here's what, like I already said, 9 volt battery. 9 volt battery snaps. Uh, 2.2K resistor. A small electric, electret microphone. You can get this out of old stuff, like you could take apart a phone or a uh, answering machine or pretty much anything that has a microphone built into it. You can take it apart. And you will also need a small ceramic capacitor. I have a 0.1 microfarad that is signified by the code 104. There will often be a letter after 104. This is a 104K. And the K just has to do with how accurate the capacitor is. That shouldn't matter a whole lot for this project. If you had a 473, that would work okay. Pretty much any small ceramic capacitor will work for this project. A breadboard is nice to hook it up, hook it all up if you just want to build this temporarily and try it out. But like I've done in this project, I soldered it up, added a uh, 3.5 millimeter output jack and a power switch. But for this project, we shouldn't need all of those features. So we're going to start by taking the electret microphone and hooking the negative to the negative rail on our breadboard. This will go to the negative of the battery. I will also drop a schematic and post that at the end of this video. Um, you will take the red wire and put that in another hole on the breadboard. If you don't know how a breadboard works, there's strips, or metal strips that go lengthwise, not across, there's a gap in the middle, and then there's power rails that go all the way down. So we want to put it in one of the rails, the positive wire, so that we can make a connection with other parts of the circuit. This can all be soldered too. Next, we need to take our two 0.2K resistor, the red, red, red resistor, and hook it to one of the leads, doesn't matter which way because it's not polarized, resistors can go in either direction, hook one up to the same rail that the positive of the electret microphone is hooked up to, and then hook the other one up to positive. What this does is create the correct voltage for this microphone, which is 3 volts. You will also take your 104.1 microfarad capacitor and hook that up to the red wire as well on the microphone. That is our output. So, in my project, I'm like I showed earlier in this video, I'm going to use this audio cable with stripped ends to plug it into a small amplifier. You will need an amplifier of some sort, or you can plug it into your computer or something. But this will not be able to drive a speaker on its own. It does not have the capability or the gain to supply that much power. So, when I stripped my audio cable, I had a ground wire which was wrapped around these wires. So I pulled that aside and twisted it together. I also had a red wire and a white wire. We're going to twist the red and white together. 
because those are left and right audio channels and this is mono. If you built two of these, you could build a stereo microphone, which could be a pretty cool project. So, when we put one lead of the capacitor with the red wire, all in the same row, we are also go we're going to take the two that we twisted together and put that on this side of the capacitor. The one that's not hooked up to the red uh, wire, the one, the one not hooked up to the red wire, right there. Then we're going to take the copper wires that were twisted, the ground wire, and just connect that to the ground of the battery and the ground of the electrite microphone. It's often tough to put in here, but there. I'm now going to plug the cable into my amplifier. If you want to find this amplifier, or see this amplifier, how I built it, you can look on my channel or in the link in the description down below. Um, I'm going to plug my amplifier in and make sure volume is all the way down. We wouldn't want to blow up our speakers. This will create a lot of feedback at this range. Um, next, we're going to take 9 volt battery snaps and connect them to the battery and hook up the positive wire to the resistor, the red, red, red resistor, the one that's not connected, the lead that's not connected to the red wire of the microphone, the other one. There will also be a schematic, so this will help a lot. And we connect the ground to the grounds of the electret microphone and the audio cable. Now if we turn up our amplified speaker here, Okay, there we go. I was having problems. This, I forgot, was a mono amp. And twisting the two wires together basically shorted the uh, output to ground. Luckily, nothing was damaged because it still works. And now I'll give you a demo. Uh, that was feedback. And that's not good, but it amplifies it very well. I'm going to back up my amp. Actually, I'll bring the amp, turn it down. I'll hold my circuit and bring this closer to the microphone so that I can talk into it and you will not hear my voice. In real life you will hear it through this speaker. So, I don't know if you'll be able to tell very well or not, but this amplifies my voice very well. It is very clean and the buzzing that you hear is due to the amp, not the actual circuit. Um, the main problem I'm having is with wind noise, so if you could build a wind, wind screen, that would be great and really help this project out. But other than that, that is the end of this video. I will post the picture of the schematic right now. Okay, I just wanted to show you a quick test of me using the microphone with my computer. So I just recorded this short audio clip to give you a demonstration of me plugging the circuit into my computer. And, um, yeah. So, really simple, easy, and cheap project. And it's pretty fun, too. So if you want to make a cheap, wired microphone that uses a 3.5 millimeter jack, you could also use a 1 quarter inch jack. This is the way to do it. It's really quick, simple, and uh, easy to use. So there you have it. The next step for this project would be to put it into an enclosure, like I've done here. But other than that, um, that will do it for this video. I hope you build this project and look at my other videos. Thank you for watching.